Hello, my name is Ayn of the Green Seed Company. Next to us, plant number 46, our new mystery guest. It is a new haze that we have. We're not going to reveal any names yet because we haven't got a name yet, but it's going to be a very, very nice smoke. Also here we are in two and a half weeks of growth, one week of flowering, and you see the plant was a little bit shorter than the other hazes. It's a little bit more easy to grow for the grower indoor. The result is going to be remarkable. The leaves are uh, oversized on this haze plant. We're talking about Massive leaf development, big teeth, long fingers, extra long. You see they have a double cut in the leaf, it's like a double shark. Yeah. In the middle. Very special. See, extra cut. Next to us, a new mystery haze. Also here we are in day 14, week 2 of the flowering period. And this could probably be one of future's best hazes in the world. Very, very, very nice smoke. The internode stays really, really short for a sativa. Very uniform, all the way through the plant. Nice thick stem to transport a lot of feeding. And also this, we keep at a 5.5 pH and 1.7 EC. And next to us, one of the new big cannabis cup windows. Um, it's three weeks in flowering now. This one is going to flower another uh, eight to nine weeks, probably. It depends sometimes also on your indoor situations. Eh? And uh, yeah, look at the leaves here. Just look at the leaf here. What a sativa leaf, eh? Look how long. Already you can see everywhere nuggets coming, little nuggets all over the plant. It has a nice height after three weeks. It's uh, two meters 20, so around uh, seven feet. I'm gonna promise you this is gonna be a future champion. Yeah, it's an amazing sativa. You can see the development really, really uniform. All the branches 45 degrees up. Internet very, very contained. We're talking about one and a half to two inches in the upper third of the plant. So beautiful structure for this sativa. Also, this plant we keep at five and a half pH. We flush regularly now in week three of flowering. And we give a really good high EC level up to one seven, one eight. The plant can take it. You see no curling, beautiful dark color. Next to us, one of our new fantastic maybe ultra hazes. It's a beautiful plant. We are in day 28, week 4 of the flowering period of the 12 hour cycle and you can see nuggets coming everywhere. Nice build up of those branches. Uh, the air can go right through. Also this uh, sativa we are uh, on a 5.5 uh, pH level. We flush every week for salt accumulation and we use a 1.7 EC at the moment. Here one of our new favorite hay strains for the Greenhouse Seed Company. Here we are in week 5, day 35 of our 12 hour flowering period. And uh, this is one of the most promising new varieties we have. Very nice crystal already, look what the branches. Nice build up of structure of this plant. We keep this plant at 5.5 pH and at 1.7 EC in this fifth week of flowering. And I'm standing here with one of our new sativas. It's a really, really nice variety and it's now in day 42 of the flowering period, week 6. It's a really amazing line. It's a beautiful woody smell, a really, really intense clear high, uplifting. The plant is, as you see, massive, but the internodal distance stays pretty uniform all the way up. It doesn't go over the 2 to 3 inches, so it's a very steady one. Uh, the leaf development is uh, very wild. You can see it's actually one of the biggest sativa leaves in our collection. Now this is a big sativa leaf. Beautiful. THC is coming slowly in this sixth week of flowering. Here we go with some resin. Beautiful. The hairs are still pumping right and white. No red hairs yet, but they're going to come a few more weeks. The pH at this moment is 5.5 and, and the EC level is a 1.6, 1.7 for this beautiful pure sativa. And I'm here, day 49, week 7 of the flowering period with this mystery sativa guest, plant number 46 in our genetic library for the moment. It's a really amazing genetic, it's really stretchy, but with a really constant development in the internodal distance. You can see how the plant gets full. For a sativa, the bud formation is very, very, very nice very long hairs but the clusters of flowers just get together forming this beautiful sativa pear-shaped bud and um, we can see the crystal is already developing it's really coming all over beautiful resin formation the smell the smell it's already i want to eat this bud really it's so beautiful also this plant stays at five and a half ph and a 1.7 ec in the seventh week of flowering and i'm here on day 56 week eight of the flowering period with one of the most beautiful sativas in our collection. At the moment it's still code plant number 46 for us. It's an amazing, 
amazing strong woody smell very very beautiful bud formation as you can see a really good producer for a sativa it's still full into the flowering we still miss a few weeks uh, to the end but the smell and the crystal production it's fabulous already also this sativa we keep at a five and a half ph still in this eight week of flowering and uh, 1.5 1.6 ec level as you can see the plant is really full dark green few more weeks and we'll enjoy it we are in week nine of the flowering period with Ariane's Ultra Haze. This is going to be probably number one of the world for the next 10 years. Winner of the Cannabis Cup in 2007, 2008, I'm going to guarantee you this is such a, such a beautiful, fantastic plant. What a smell. Look at the nuggets, how nice they're built up. Look what the sativas. Full of crystals already in week nine. And uh, yeah, beautiful structure. Very, very nice resin, very nice smell and you should smoke this plant, it's incredible, my friend. The plant is unique, it's really unique. As you can see, the internodal structure stays totally steady, completely stable, all the way to the massive call up there, huge production. It's a plant that if you let develop properly, can reach uh, collars uh, up to uh, three, four feet long. It's a plant that uh, only has a characteristic with the high and the intensity and the clearness of the high, the uplifting of the high. It's really, really one of a kind. It's a plant we keep uh, in this ninth week of flowering, still on a 5.5 pH and a 1.6, 1.7 EC level. As you can see, nice dark and green, no deficiencies. We are in week 10 with Ariane's Ultra Haze, the new kid on the block, and it's going to be a big time winner in the future of all the cannabis cups. This is, for me, probably the nicest haze I've ever smoked. It has never been on the market, and uh, we are in week 10 now, and you finally can see the structure coming around with these nuggets. And this is such a fine smoke, it's incredible. You can see the crystals coming everywhere. You can see beautiful build up of the white hairs. And look how the sativa leaves. And the smell is intense, it's a pity you can't smell it on the camera, but it's so intense and so beautiful. Two weeks more, we're probably gonna harvest it. And uh, your dream sativa will come true. Hello, we are in week 11 with the fantastic Arians Ultra Haze, the new, new big champion. We're going to let this plant grow a little bit more longer, but already you can see how nice all the nuggets are built up with this plant. The beautiful big cola in the top, all nice nuggets all around here. And also again, we center the plant around the lamp. So we put a few sticks in, so all the light is directly going onto the plant. So you don't lose too much of your light because that will be a pity. And you can see the beautiful build up of all the colors. Look how wide it is, full of crystals, brown hair production everywhere. And already we could harvest this plant after 11 weeks, but we're gonna go let it a little bit longer. Look how sticky, look how sticky. It's just, you can't even touch it. Beautiful colors. We're on week 12 with one of my most favorite sativas. As I told you before, we've been following this plant for 12 weeks now. It's finished, it was actually already finished a week ago. You still could get, let it go another week, but I told you before, this is one of the big champions of the future. Ariane's Ultra Haze is gonna be a really, really memorable and you're gonna see this plant all over the world. It's such a fine taste, such a fine smell. When you smoke it, it gives you such a great feeling. Uh, like you're on top of the mountain, you know, like a really, really deep, intense, high feeling. And uh, we're going to manicure it now and uh, see uh, what comes off of the plant. You can see the colors are so heavy. They're just hanging everywhere. And uh, even the big collar here is dropping over now. Hardly any leaf. It's all bad. It's impossible after manicuring this haze, look at this. Pure THC on my fingers and so sticky, it's incredible. Like three grams of pure hash of the Ariane's Ultra Haze on my fingers. Uh, wherever you are in the world, you really would like to smoke this. Unbelievable. So here we are with Ariane's Ultra Haze after manicuring this fantastic plant. As I told you before, it's gonna be a new winner, new kid on the block. Beautiful haze, beautiful smell, very, very intense high. Gonna cut the nuggets off the branches now, put it on the ground, you can see how much yield is. So here, Ion's Ultra Haze, finely manicured this whole beautiful plant. Seven, 800 grams of this fine, but look how much it is. Big pile of it, 
and if you grow this plant outdoor you probably go over a kilo kilo and a half easily it's a dream of every hay smoker big cup winner in the future we're going to bring it to the greenhouse and to the smokers panel now after we've dried it really nice and cured it really nice that's always very important with these nice varieties so i wish you all the best with this and when you come to the greenhouse smoke ions ultra